What evidence of a crime does the FBI have against former President Donald Trump? It's a question a search warrant and other legal documents may answer. And today, in an incredibly rare move, the nation's top cop says he wants that search warrant to be made public. But how quickly that happens, if at all, depends on whether President Trump's team agrees for it to be released. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes us inside the legal strategy. Following the FBI raid on former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, Attorney General Merrick Garland said he would make the rare move of asking the federal court that approved the search warrant there to unseal it for all of America to see. Trump and his political allies have repeatedly said the FBI probe is a continuation of a wider political witch hunt ahead of Trump potentially announcing his candidacy for president again. But CBS News has reported the search was related to an investigation into documents Trump took with him when he left the White House. Because he was just president a couple of years ago. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the move to release the search warrant shows the investigation is limited in scope. It goes to show that this is all this investigation is about. It's not about January 6th. It's not about you know, any of these other things or about you know financing or the New York investigation. This is a separate investigation solely about him taking government property in the form of documents that he's not supposed to have. That's why Leonardo says it's to Trump's political advantage to have the search warrant and any affidavit outlining the FBI's evidence against Trump kept secret. And he can continue to tell that story until the affidavit comes out. And what you're going to see in that affidavit, I have a sneaking suspicion, is that there is a CI or a confidential informant that has told the government about these documents, whether it's somebody at works at Mar-a-Lago or whether it's somebody from the past administration. There clearly was a confidential informant. Trump has until tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to say whether he opposes the Department of Justice's request to unseal the search warrant. If he does, it could delay or even prevent its release. One of the arguments that he can make is he could clearly say that, listen, this is an unprecedented move, and how can I get a fair trial if this does come to a trial, if you're releasing the probable cause right now to the American public? Ultimately, it will be for a federal judge to decide whether the search warrant and any probable cause is publicly released. Several news outlets, including CBS News, have also filed motions to the court to unseal it. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.